Well, here we are at the Homeschools of Maine Annual Convention, Day 2, St. Patrick's Day and also Evacuation Day. If you're from Boston, you know that date. And this is in the beautiful uh, Samoset Resort in Rockland, Maine. We're going to be visiting some of the vendors, and here is uh, Dr. Ruth Moore to tell us about her very interesting table. And what got my attention was, Yes, this is rocket science, right? <laughs> Hi, Al. Thank you for the wonderful introduction. As um, you said, my name is Dr. Ruth Moore, and I am a cognitive behaviorist. We have a nonprofit called Eternity, and we also work with the Civil Air Patrol. I'm a uh, captain in the Civil Air Patrol. My daughter is a cadet. And one of the things that we found are our STEM, our STEM and sciences in That's the United science, States. That's uh, science, technology, education, education and, and math. math. Yeah. So we're finding that... Engineering uh, and math. Right? Yes. Yeah. We're finding that our technology level is falling amongst our kids coming up. So the Civil Air Patrol has created the um, Aerospace Educators Program, and that's what we're here teaching about today. And so you can see that we're teaching rocket science, we're teaching um, basic aerospace principles, and we're welcoming parents to... Uh, register with us as aerospace instruction instructors and when they do that they get free curriculum from the Civil Air Patrol which teaches STEM core all the way from pre-k up to college level wow. and this is really great because it is entirely free for our parents and for our kids and today we taught actual rocket science so I'm just going to give you a quick overview oh, sure. So we're going to take and make a rocket out of a balloon, and I used to play a trumpet so I can blow this up fairly easily. <laughs> so we now have a rocket, and we have to remember there's four principles in rocket science, and we call it G-A-M-M. The first is gravity, so in order for my rocket to rise, I have to be able to get that rocket to work against gravity and break free of the chains of gravity. The second is the air within our rocket, and this air is supercharged at 98.6 degrees straight from my lungs. Mm -hmm. Hot air has a tendency to rise and dissipate, so what we're hoping is that the hot air in this will actually help create a little bit of lift. The next thing that we're going to focus on is our first M, which is our mass or our size, and we have to look at the mass and see the air in that and say, is there enough mass in, uh, in this, is there enough air, so that we can create force to create thrust to lift our rocket off the launch pad. And we're going to do that by talking about our fourth principle, which is the materials that we're using. So this this is a latex balloon, and latex likes to contract. It does not like being expanded. So right now, it's held in place by the air, and we have it closed off. What we're doing is, when we release the, the pressure on this, we're hoping there will be enough air in here to lift the mass of the balloon, and as the air is pushed out, we're hoping that there will be enough thrust to move the balloon out and it will fly. So let's go ahead and All try. right, let's see if this experiment will work, right? Okay, so we're gonna put our balloon on the launching pad. All righty. And are we ready? 10, 9, nine eight, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 4 3, 2, 2, lift off. 1, and lift off. And we have lift off. Mm, but you're not going to get to Mars or the moon on that, uh, unfortunately. No. Yeah. But it did, it did actually it did. push enough force down. You could feel the air in the hand. Mm -hmm. It pushed the force down, and it actually created thrust against the launching pad, so it lifted up. Interesting. So, and that is our interview today. And how can people get a hold of uh, you if they want to get a hold of you? at Internity and Donnie's Dwellness. Our number is 546-1405, area code 207. Okay. Or for those who are inclined, we will be here tomorrow and we will have more experiments and fun for everyone. Great. All right. Thank you so much. It was fun. <laughs>